Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. The Chinese government is about to release. Yep, I said the Chinese government. You didn't hear that wrong. About to release an EV with 1,000 kilometers of range. And I've got to admit, it looks pretty good too. Hey guys, thanks for your support and thanks for watching the videos. I really appreciate it. If you could give me a subscribe or just a like or write a comment below, I'd really appreciate it. It helps the algorithms and it really helps with the channel. Now, a new electric SUV from GAC or the GAC Group, which is a Chinese state owned conglomerate of different companies, is about to enter full scale production with a claimed driving range allowing a trip from, say, Melbourne to Sydney or I don't know where in the United States, 1,000 kilometers, how far that is, 600 miles, guys. Pretty long trip without having to stop and charge the vehicle. That's if the claims are to be believed. Now, to give you some context on the sizing of this car, it's technically a mid-sized SUV, but it's actually a fairly big vehicle. It's got a 2.92 meter wheelbase and a length of almost 4.8 meters, width of 1.935 and a height of 1.68 meters. Now, obviously with an EV, exterior dimensions, when compared like for like with traditional ICE vehicles, are not a fair comparison in the real world because EVs simply have better packaging. That's right, because they don't have a big engine bay or a massive engine bay like a lot of cars coming from, say, Mazda, for example, it means you can actually fit a lot more space into the vehicle. You can make those overhangs shorter. You can obviously sometimes have a frunk in the front. So rather than having just an engine there, you might have a space there to store things. You can remove a transmission tunnel, another one of the great features of EVs, being able to not have a transmission. So really, this is actually a pretty good sized vehicle and I think you'll find there'll be quite a lot of storage on the inside. Now, a new medium sized SUV is about to enter production in China, potentially offering owners 1,000 kilometers of range from a single charge. If it's true, the 2022 GAC Aeon LX, it's a pretty good looking car, I must say, will, cl will lay claim to having the longest all electric range of any production car on sale, overtaking the current title holder the Tesla Model S Long Range. The Tesla Model S Long Range offers a claimed range of 652 kilometers, meaning the Aeon LX offers a driving range 53% longer than the Model S. Or to put it another way, it's basically the same as having Tesla Model S Long Range and a Nissan Leaf, Leaf Hatch Range combined, put together. But there's a catch here, of course, as there always is. Tesla's range claim is tested against the WLTP cycle, a testing protocol accepted internationally. It's not clear what test conditions were used by GAC to receive 1,000 kilometers of range. More than likely, they've used the NEDC range test, which is commonly used by Chinese manufacturers. So the range, if it's 1,000 kilometers on the NED cycle, would more likely be around 800 kilometers on the WLTP cycle which is much more realistic. Now, GAC Motor announced the Aeon LX achieved a maximum range of 904 kilometers during hot weather testing in which the vehicle was driven through 36 degree heat and 90% humidity, suggesting the 1,000 kilometer range would be possible in locations with more favorable conditions. Now, the company's new spongy silicon cathode technology is said to allow greater energy density with less weight, with the Aeon Alexa's battery being 14% lighter and 20% smaller than previous packs, leading to a 150 kilowatt hour battery pack in the vehicle. Now, for comparison's sake, the biggest battery in the Tesla Model S is 100 kilowatt hours. So it's obviously much, much bigger than the batteries that Tesla are using. And in fact, it's bigger than I think any other battery currently in any production car in the world. Obviously, that will change as vehicles like the Cybertruck and the Rivian R1T come to market over the next 12 months. And just as a little aside here, guys, I've got to say this interior looks really nice. I like it. It's simple. It's elegant. It's classy. Whoever designed this vehicle, great job on the inside. And I think great job on the outside, too. Now, the Chinese automotive industry has been chasing the magical 1000 kilometer range figure as a way of winning over buyers from traditional petrol and diesel cars and also as really a good marketing tool to market their product now 1000 kilometers of range as i said before is the equivalent of driving from shanghai to wuhan 
pick yourself up some coronavirus. No, I didn't just say that, did I? No. Anyway, or from London to Zurich, or from Sydney to Melbourne. Sorry, United States guys, I'm not sure. Would it be, say, Portland to San Francisco? That's about 630 miles, right? So it might just make that trip too. However, interestingly, GAC isn't the only company making these kinds of claims. Now, Chinese car maker NIO says its upcoming ET7 sedan will use cutting edge solid state batteries in order to achieve 1,000 kilometers of range, with production promised to start in 2022. I don't personally believe that will happen. In fact, I believe that will not happen, and it's fake news. I hate to say that because I love EVs. I love the solid state battery technology that's coming out, but I just think based on all the information I know about solid state batteries, they're not ready for 2022. Extremely unlikely that will happen. So if you're seeing other YouTube videos clickbaiting you into believing magical claims from Neo, I don't think it will happen. But do I believe a number of car manufacturers will achieve 1,000 kilometers of range in their vehicles in 2022? Absolutely. Using solid state batteries? Absolutely not. Using lithium ion NCM chemistry batteries? Definitely. Absolutely. If you think about it, if the Cybertruck can achieve 800 kilometers of range, imagine the kind of range that a smaller vehicle or even the Tesla Model S long range could achieve using Tesla's new batteries. Well, obviously here, GAC are using lithium ion batteries. And I believe it's not long before we start to see 1,000 kilometer ranges in a huge number of vehicles from different manufacturers. The future is coming fast and I love it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.